us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Sorreo, and as you can see behind me, we are here in the gym today. It's practice for the ladies varsity basketball team here at Peninsula High School, so let's meet the team. Tell us uh, how the season has been going, and give us a little bit of information about the makeup of the team this year. Um, so this season, we start out really strong. Um, this year, we have a lot of younger players. So we had um, a lot of underclassmen, and then um, I have one, a couple, a few returners, not that many, and then so it was, it was definitely a mix because you've got some players that have been playing and they have their experience, and then a lot of them that, that don't have that varsity experience and they haven't played as many games. So it's been kind of like a learning, learning year, um, but I, I have great leadership, so it's been good to have those those leaders to kind of um, help with the younger players. What's the biggest difference that you see when you've got um, younger players from the beginning of the season to the end of the season? Where do you see the most growth? I think definitely that first, the beginning, they kind of have that where they're, especially beat on varsity, I think varsity, it's, if you're younger, it's, it's tougher because it's the competition's a lot. It's um, the teams are just tougher to play against, and so yeah, definitely seeing the growth in, in them as as leaders. I think that they de um, they step up more. They they are in situations that are tough situations, and knowing how to play through those situations where maybe at the beginning of the year they didn't do as well. But what's fun is to see them bring it together and come together and and see because you know it's not just about what they do on the basketball court. It's about also the bonding. So you know, like we go we go on an overnight trip to San Diego and. That's even for the coaches, we bond with the girls and we do a lot of team activities. And, and so I think it's also just the, you know, the journey through this season is what's fun, is, is getting to know them and that they're getting to know each other and, and that bond that you create as you uh, move through the year. That was gonna actually be my next question yeah. was, I know you guys do a lot of team bonding. How was the trip this year? It was fun, it was yeah. a lot of fun. We, um, we went to San Diego again and you know we it was actually a great tournament for us we did well we uh, finished three and one so it was, it was a solid tournament we played well um, and you know tried to do some fun activities while we were there team activities so and it, it is a fun group because like I said there it's I have a lot of freshmen and sophomores but so it's a mix and they really get along they, they really get along this team. Christina tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing since I was around eight, um, so like most of my life. I, my dad and my oldest sister played a lot when I was younger, so I kind of just followed in their footsteps and like would always play around with them. So that's how I picked up the sport. You've been playing a long time. What do you do from season to season to get a little bit better? Um, when I was younger, it was more of like a for fun thing, so it was never serious. My mom would put me in a lot of basketball camps over the summer, so that's mainly what I would do, and like just go to different organizations and like train with them and um, playing with a bunch of different people. And yeah, it just helps, um, like helping, like playing with boys and girls also helps because uh, I think playing with boys who are more aggressive, it also helps increase our um, skill and aggressiveness as well. Yeah. It's interesting you said that. I was going to ask you what you think you maybe learn doing the other, mm -hmm. the, the club or the summer camps mm -hmm. that you don't get in high school, but you're, mm -hmm. you kind of talked about that. Elaborate a little bit more about that. Um, I would just, during summers, like we would strictly do basketball for me and uh, my sisters, and uh, it would be mostly like co ed stuff. So we would be put into like just around your age groups, and like it's a lot of like fundamentals. So I think which helps a lot because that's like as long as you got fundamental do fundamentals down, like usually like it you can only go up from there, and yeah. And did you ever try any other sports, or was it has it just been basketball? It's mainly been basketball, but my freshman and sophomore year, I was actually in Taiwan, and oh. I did volleyball for a little bit, just for fun, but yeah. What was that experience like? Uh, doing basketball in Taiwan? Yeah. Um, it was interesting, for sure. Like, girls in Taiwan don't do uh, many sports, so I think, like, it was definitely a time for me to, like, I guess, excel in my own way, because I was able to, like, uh, be more of a leader there as in like sports because coming from American basketball like it's a lot more aggressive than like in Asia and so um, I was able to also like just play with a lot more guys over there just because like local parks and stuff you'd play with a bunch of random people. What's yeah. the popularity like of basketball over there? Is it huge? It's, yeah, basketball's like their main sport like okay. at night I would always go out at uh, parks and there's always like at like 6 7 p.m. It's filled with a bunch of like students like adults playing and you just kind of play with everybody like kind of like street ball like How yeah. Fun. Yeah. How long have you been playing basketball and why did you choose it for your sport? 
Um, I started when I was like seven and at first I didn't want to play but then I saw my brother doing like clinics and stuff like that and then I was like oh that looks fun so then my parents signed me up and that's where my yeah did you ever try any other sports or have you all been strictly basketball well my grandpa wanted me to do golf but I just <laughs> it was too slow I was like eight at the time and I just didn't like it because you've been playing basketball for so long, what have you done and worked on from season to season to get a little better in your own game? Um, mostly my shot. I'm, I work out with my dad on our driveway and we work on shots and I'll work out with my brother and usually do one-on-one, -on -one. yeah. What do you think you learn the most from working out with your brother? Um, really just how to keep my cool, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, keeping composure. Yeah. It gets really competitive. I'm sure yeah. it does. Yeah. What, um, what grade are you in? Ninth. Ninth grade, yeah. okay. And overall this season, what has it been like working with some seniors, some juniors, sophomores, freshmen? What is it like having a, a an array of different kinds of players on the team? It was really cool to work with them. Um, I, I feel like I learned a lot of new things and yeah, it was really nice experience. When you take yourself through a whole season like that, knowing you're, you'll are you be back and you'll be playing more years, what do you think you learned the most? Um, maybe just like new things to do on the court, like, you know, talking, communicating more. Yeah. And I know that team bonding is a big deal for you guys. How was San Diego this year? It was really fun. Yeah. We, I feel like I got closer to the team and we played some really good competitive games, yeah. I've been playing basketball since uh, I've been in second grade. So been, for a while? Yeah. And did you ever try any other sports? Yes. Okay, tell me I, what, Tell me about that. What sports did you try besides? I tried soccer when I was uh, like really young because my brother was so obsessed about it. So I did soccer at first and I was pretty good at it, but then I was like, eh. So, <laughs> so what made you choose basketball over another sport, over soccer? I don't know. I think. Maybe the hustle, like how quick the game is, you know, and maybe like uh, the aggressiveness you get to be, at, you have to be out there. Because you've been playing for so many years, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little bit better? Well, especially like specifically with high school ball, like a lot of the other players are like taller than you and stuff. So I try to work on my like vertical uh, jumping and stuff okay. so I can rebound better. Um, I work on ball handling for sure. Okay. Um, and I also work on just like cardio and stuff, just to keep keep pace. What's the biggest difference when you're you're playing on club teams or just out of season versus when you get to high school and you have the opportunity to play for your school? Well, the reason why like I love playing high school basketball is because it's so much more like lively. Like the whole school comes to watch, the cheerleaders are there, like it's and it's like even when you're sitting on the bench you like just cheer on your teammates and stuff. And that's when the, my other club teams we're still like lively, but it's it's like a whole different vibe, you know, like here it's really like you're in the game, you know. That's interesting. That's a very interesting way to look at it. Um and what do you think that from the beginning of this year till now, what have you learned the most this year? One that I need ankle braces. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you won't have to learn that again, right? Yeah. Um, I learned how to use my height as an advantage. Okay. Because I play post position, so like the other like post players are like six foot, over like six foot. So I have to time my jumping correctly and stuff. So I've, I've been really, that was really helpful. I've been playing since I was around four and I chose it because um, my parents actually met at a church basketball league, so it, like, it kind of runs the family. So my mom and her college friend just set up a little team and then I joined that. Oh my so. God, I love that story. Did you ever try any other sports? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, in elementary school, I did softball and soccer. And then in middle school and freshman year, I did cross country. So what made you want to stick with basketball? What was it about the game that you love so much? Um, it was definitely the people. Um, of course, I loved all my soccer and, yeah, soccer and softball teammates, but I think starting at age four with, like, the same group of girls, like, a bunch of who I still, like, talk to and hang out with today. That's amazing. Yeah, I think I, that I, kept me going. I, yeah, I know that team bonding is such a big thing, and you went to San Diego this, this past 
was it December, I think, right? Yeah, you guys yeah. Were, what was that experience like? It was good. Um, yeah, I think this year especially, we really tried to do a lot of team activities, like no leaving to go in, in clicks into someone's room. It was like we all stayed together. And like we have a mix of upper and underclassmen, so it made it really fun. Okay. How do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? Mm, it's definitely hard. Um, I have a free fifth this year, so I just, I utilize that by either getting homework done or going to the gym early. And then, yeah, right when I get home, it's like, I'll either add my extra workout in there or I go straight to homework. So just being efficient with my time, I Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, because you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little bit better to elevate your game? Mm -hmm. um, like freshman to senior? Okay, yeah. Uh, freshman year was definitely, I think, the mentality aspect, just like being aggressive instead of being like, oh no, I'm a freshman, I have to pass it. But um, sophomore, junior year was more focusing on my mid-range game. Because yeah, when when I get by the first defender, I want to be able to pull up instead of like having to chuck up a layup against like a really tall center. And then this year, I think it's leadership. Um, yeah, since a lot of our starters are freshmen, it's just, yeah, being able to talk on the floor, keep everyone poised and under control. So. I've been playing basketball since like, I'd say like I was like six years old. And um, I chose it because like my parents grew up playing it and I just really enjoyed like being with the team and everything. Did you ever try any other sports? Um, I tried like softball and like golf when I was younger, but I didn't really like them. What do you think it was about basketball that made you want to stick with it? Um, I played with like my friends a lot, so I thought it was really fun like being with a team and like I just like the environment. Because you've been playing for so long and now obviously in high school, what do you think that you've learned the most like season to season to get better at your own game? Um, well I'm a freshman right now, okay. but um, I think something I'm working on is like confidence and like being tougher mentally. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? What are you learning from the seniors? Um, they're. I'm learning like to like take care of my teammates and like, yeah. I know that um, team bonding is always a big thing, and you guys went to San Diego this year. What mm -hmm. was that experience like? Um, that experience was really fun. Like just being able to room with everyone. I got to room with like um, Jaden, our senior, and that was really fun. That's so. very cool. And how are you sort of balancing the basketball time with the school time? Um, I'm definitely still figuring it out, but like I um, don't have a fifth period because I take a zero period, so I try to get my homework done like during that time. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, since kindergarten, and I really wanted to like play with Jaden. Okay, so. so you guys have known each other for a really long time. No, I just like heard things about her and she ah. seemed pretty cool. Now, did you ever try any other sports or has it always been basketball? Um, I play soccer too. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. What do you think that you learned playing soccer that actually helps you with basketball? Um, I don't know. Well, soccer really like helps with my conditioning, so. Okay. Yeah. And what do you work on from season to season to get a little bit better at basketball? Um, maybe like my ball handling. Yeah. Okay. And um, how are you sort of balancing the school time with the basketball time? Um, I'm not really sure. I just like, just whenever I have free time, like school and then... Time management, yeah. I guess, right? Okay. Um, what do you think that you learn the most from your coaches? Um, you know, just keep working hard and like, they're going to push us, but like... Just stay with it. Okay. Your coach was telling us about um, the team bonding you guys did in San Diego oh. this year. What was that experience like? It was really fun, like, getting to know more of my teammates, like, you know, since they're a lot more older than me. And I was rooming with um, a junior and a senior, and they were, like, a lot more mature. <laughs> so it was just nice to get to know them. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Uh, I think I started in, like, first grade. And my brothers both always played. I'd had to go to all their games. So I was really excited to start. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Did you ever play any other sports or try? Um, well, I used to dance. Okay. And um, I'm, I started lacrosse in high school. So I'm planning on doing this after basketball season. What's it been like to play two sports? Okay, well, I like grew up playing basketball. So when I finally chose or started playing lacrosse, it was very different. And I think that's part of what made it fun for me. What's the what's the biggest challenge playing two sports? Um, 
I think it's like I think what's really great about lacrosse is like at the school it's pretty chill. So we just transfer in after basketball season. So like basketball is always my priority, and then it's fun to play lacrosse because I get a little new skill set. And I feel like I actually built up my endurance for basketball during that season. Okay, because you've been playing basketball for so long, what do you work on from season to season to get better at your own game? Uh, well, there's always more to improve. Like I think. I was working, or recently I've been working more on like getting contact in because I used to be more of like an outside player, just shoot threes, but now I want to get more to the hoop. Okay. I was talking to your coach about the team bonding you guys did this year in San Diego. What was that experience like? Oh yeah, well we go there every year. It's always so fun. Like Especially this year, a lot of our team is freshmen, so it was really great getting to know them better. It's like highlight of my year. What do you think that they learned the most from you guys? I think they, like, sometimes it's a bit intimidating when you first come in and it's like, oh, all older players, like, you feel like you're brand new and everyone else already knows each other, but, like, really, it's like, you learn that you're up with them, like, we're more of a family, we don't really see, like, ages as much, That's it's so just good. one team. I love that, okay, and then, um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? Well, it's definitely been a challenge this year, I loaded my schedule way more than I usually do. Um, I think it helps to like get some of your energy and stress out on the court so then once you get home you can like focus and really work on the schoolwork. Um, I've been playing basketball since I'd say like the middle of seventh grade and then I chose it because like it's the first sport I tried and I didn't want to switch so. So what made you want to try basketball? Um, I guess like I never really watched a lot of basketball on TV, I just guess like at recess, so we would play basketball, and I just like really liked it, and so I picked it up. And have you? I was going to ask you if you've tried any other sports. No, this is it. actually no. I used to. That's a lie. I used to. <laughs> I used to swim when I was really young, but then like, I just hated the chlorine and how it made my hair, and then yeah. But I do really like tennis. I just wasn't good at it, so I just. Yeah. So you're you like endurance sports. I mean, swimming and tennis and basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What so far? What has the experience been like being here? Um. Sometimes it's really stressful. Yeah. Sometimes it's really fun. Like you mean practice or like off the court, like dinner? just even. I mean, just even kind of being a part of a sport like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really enjoy how like closely knit our team is, and like. It's, it's kind of just like one big friend group, and it's like a really good experience. Your coach talked about the team bonding, and you guys went to San Diego. What was that like for you? Oh my god, San Diego was amazing. There, it was so wild. There was so much stuff that happened. Sometimes the coaches got like really mad at us, and sometimes we were like, you know, we were kind of competitive with them, and it was just like a lot of stuff happened, and it was a really good bonding experience. Okay, and then how are you sort of balancing the basketball time with the school time? Um, it's been especially difficult this year because it's my junior year and it's kind of like the worst year for academics. So it's been uh, really difficult. Um, I just have been staying up really late recently, so like, yeah. Faith, tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing for four years now and I just chose it because it looked fun. Okay, did you ever try any other sports? Um, I tried golf for like a really short time. Okay. But it like hurt my back, so. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it was about basketball that made you want to stick with it? Um, I really like our team and like everyone was so supportive and just like, like before I played golf and it was like a solo sport, so it was kind of like, in a way like lonely. So like, when you're playing in a team, it's really different and like, you get like energy from other people. Absolutely. Between seasons um, and school years, what do you think that, what do you work on to get a little bit better in your own game? Um, for me personally, I really tried working on ball handling because it's something that I really need, <laughs> I needed to work on. So like, I just tried to work on it so that like, I can just better improve my skills and like, Help the team out. <laughs> okay. Um, your coach was also talking about the, t the trip you guys took to San Diego for team bonding. What was that experience like? It was really fun. Like, um, it was like kind of my first time like going on a trip with like a sports team. So it was like, like we're all kind of like family. So like, it was really fun to just really bond together and like have a fun time. That's very cool. Okay. How are you sort of balancing the school time with the basketball time? Yeah, so for me that's something that's like really difficult, like um, I'm taking like a lot of academically challenging classes and so 
like <laughs> it's tough. Yeah, this sounds kind of harsh. But, like something needs to be sacrificed yes. for me that was sleep. Like I have been playing basketball since I was 10 years old. And why did you choose basketball for your sport? Uh, I chose play, playing basketball because I saw my friends playing basketball and they looked, they looked so fun. So. Yes. so here you are, still playing. Yeah. What do you work on to get a little better each year? Um, I work on basic skills such as dribbling and shooting in my freshman so, and sophomore year. Okay. And I try to look a lot while driving for my junior and senior year and control ball more. Okay. Yeah. And, and then I know this year you had, I guess you guys do this every few years. You go to San Diego for team bonding. Yeah. What is that experience like? Um, I think it was a good opportunity to uh, do team bonding mm -hmm. and know each other and have fun together. So. Yes. And how are you balancing, well, you probably learned how, the school time with the basketball time? Um, how, is that difficult? It's not difficult for me. Um, I use to the wrist. I make to the wrist every day. Uh, so I don't forget what I need to do. Okay. And I use lunch time to do my homework and manage time. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. I think I've been playing since first grade, and I chose it just because I like the energy of it, I like how fast it is, and it's really satisfying when you make Did treats. you ever play any other sports? Yes. Okay, tell me what. Um, a lot, I guess. Softball, um, volleyball, lacrosse, soccer, yeah. Which, I should have said, which teams have you, which, which sports have you not played? Yeah. Now, are, did you, are you playing any of those, or? Now is no, it just I like basketball? basketball yeah. Okay, wh having played so many, why do you think you just stuck with basketball? Uh huh. Um, I don't know. I mean, I just like I said, I like the action of it. Um, I had been playing softball, but it was pretty slow. I think. Um, okay, it's different. Yeah, yeah. Do, is there something that when you look at all the other sports that maybe you've learned that you sort of take with you here? Um, I mean, there's certain things in lacrosse, like the way you carry yourself, that has helped like stronger or something, yeah. Okay, because you've played so many sports, what do mm -hmm. you work on from season to season to get a little better in, your, in this uh -huh. game? Um, I go on runs, usually long runs, and I lift, and do just some skill training and stuff like that. Okay, and how are you sort of balancing the school time with the basketball time? Oh yeah, um, I have been injured, so I haven't been able to play, but when I'm not injured, um, I mean, trying to get to homework as soon as I can after school. Just to kind of figure it out. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I, your coach was telling us about how you guys went to San Diego for the yes. team bonding trip. What was that yeah. like? That was awesome. Yeah. It was really fun to room with um, one of my teammates. Yeah. And I mean, when you guys are in an environment like that, why, why do you think it brings you together so much? I mean, I don't know. Just spending time with each other, and like, it's different when you're like sleeping in the same place and like, I don't know, waking up, getting ready together. That's true. It's like a big sleepover for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing basketball since I was like five and then I stopped during COVID. But I chose it because my brother played it and it was just like easy to play with my brother and like I learned from him. So yeah, it was like really fun to play together with him. Did you ever try any other sports or has it always been basketball? Um, I did, I've done volleyball for the past like three or four years too. And yeah. is it difficult to balance both sports or? Um, at times, yeah, but I think they're very like different sports, so it's like easy to like differentiate and like. To, what do yeah. you think you learn from volleyball that helps you here? Um, I okay, so volleyball is a non-contact sport, right? Which is like biggest difference, I think. So it helps me learn to like what I can apply to volleyball and what I can apply to basketball and really like capitalize like what makes basketball so much different and so much more. Yeah. Because you've been playing for so long and you play with family, what do you think your brother, what do you think you've learned the most from playing with your brother? Um, he's a very, he's much more aggressive. Than I, he's like um, been playing basketball for like a long time too. He's much more aggressive than I am, so I think I can like learn from him in that way and being like, he's like a really like a leader on the court, so it's really like inspirational to see him play and to like 
Yeah. What grade are you in now? I'm a, I'm a freshman. A freshman. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I know you guys went to, on the team bonding trip to San mm -hmm. Diego. What was that experience like? It was really fun. It was the first time I traveled with like um, with anyone from Penn, and it was like I f like I think it was a really good experience to get to know them because I've only known them for a few weeks before that. So I think. Um, just like living with them and just like experiencing the days with them. Like even just eating it with them was like a really fun. So you really feel like bonding. you sort of added a whole new family yeah, to your life, yeah, right? Okay. For sure. All right. And how are you balancing the school time with the basketball time? Um, I, I, I'm a freshman, so I don't have yeah. that much work. But okay. I think just knowing when practice is and knowing how long my homework will take me like helps a lot. I've been playing basketball since third grade. Okay. And I chose it as a sport because I was just kind of doing a lot of things at the time. And okay. When I started basketball, I was like a really tall, so I was like, oh, this seems fun. So like, yeah, I, I just thought it was like a really good fit for me. Did you try in other sports or? Yeah, I did. Which one? I, was, I tried soccer, like swim, volleyball. Like I, tr I just love trying stuff as a kid. So. Okay. And now, are you still playing other sports too, or just this one? No, just basketball. Why do you think you stuck with this one? I think a lot of it has to do with my height, but another part is I've been committing to it for so long that there's just no reason to leave and I really like it, so like it just seems like a really good thing for me in high school. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you work on from season to season to get a little bit better? Mm, well, obviously coming to practice every day, but sometimes I try to get to the gym with my dad and stuff, and school and basketball is hard to balance, so I just see as, as much free time as I have, I can try to get a few hours of practice in. Okay. But it can be hard. Yeah, that, that's definitely a challenge always. Um, your coach talked about the team bonding you guys did in San Diego. What was that experience like? It was really fun because we had to share rooms with our teammates. And like that's a big deal because you're like sleeping and everything in the same room. So whoever, not even just your roommate, the whole team just bonded really well because we were all in the same hotel room. Yeah. And we, just, we all just became really close. And so I think it was, it was really fun. It's fun. What do you, what does your coach always want you guys to remember? What's one of the messages that she's always telling you? Definitely to just always play together, play smart. We always just need to play as a team because once we start like losing that momentum, it goes, yeah, but, yeah. It's the wrong way. Yeah, <laughs> okay. we have to play together. So I had to ask the girls, is it Lakers, Clippers, or? somebody else um I'd say the Clippers because I grew up like going to their games probably Lakers I don't know Lakers and the Bucks Sparks Lakers I think. but maybe Golden State too mm, Warriors <laughs> Lakers <laughs> Lakers I'll go with Lakers okay. my mom likes the Lakers and Warriors Golden State I'm a Golden State fan. And that will do it for today's show. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, you can watch Playing the Field Local Edition 24-7 at playingthefieldtv.com. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time.